One of the integral components of the flip class is doing some level of work prior to class so that you have knowledge of the content prior to coming in class where we're going to do a whole bunch of interesting problem solving and higher level learning skills. And so the way we're going to implement this in this class is through the use of online videos. And the way to think about this is that the online videos are providing the foundational knowledge. They're providing the initial definitions, the initial concepts, the major theorems, the major methodologies. And that you can come here to have sort of a first exposure to them so that when we come to the class time, we don't have to sort of waste any of our time on that. You, we've already got that little bit of exposure, we've already got that foundational knowledge, and we can focus on higher level skills like anal analyzing problems and problem solving and critical thinking and all the different things that we're going to be doing in the classroom. So, because they're so important, I want to give you just a few tips as to how I think you should go about watching these videos. Because this is not just like watching any old TV show where you sort of turn off your mind and just sort of sit there and consume what's being presented to you. It's something where I want you to be actively thinking and engaging with the content. So, first of all, you should probably take some form of notes. Kind of like you would ignore in a normal traditional lecture. These videos are the closest to a traditional lecture that we have in this course. And I don't really mind whether you have a notebook and you just take some notes in the notebook, or whether you go and you print off the PDF slides. Maybe you want to do two or four different slides per page to save paper. But either way you have something and then you can write down the things that I'm writing on my tablet in the videos. Or perhaps you'll take a few extra notes yourselves, things that I'm saying out loud but don't want to write down. And it's important to have these notes both as a resource for yourself so that you can bring them to class and you have that foundational knowledge there if for whatever reason you might forget it, but also the, the process of taking notes, of formulating what has been said and writing it down on the brain is a very important way to start triggering that long-term memory retention that we're trying to have in this class. And that's very important for foundational knowledge. Secondly, there's a bunch of things that you can do in a video that you can't do in a traditional lecture. You, you can pause the video, you can sit there and think, hold on, did that make sense what Trevor just said? Maybe I need to watch it a second time and rewind. Maybe I need to watch it a, a third time. You get to stop and pause and take the time that you need to actively agree that the things I'm saying make sense to you and make sense in your mind. That you can translate what I've just told you into a way that makes sense for you. So I wouldn't necessarily always watch these videos from the start to the finish. I would go along making sure that I have understood the concepts as I am doing it. After each of the videos, there's going to be a pre-class quiz. And there's many reasons why we do these pre-class quizzes. Uh, the first of them is that they're going to give you some sort of immediate feedback as to whether or not you have indeed comprehended the material. Indeed, one of the things that us humans do all the time is that we hear an expert say something, and they say it with exactly the perfect words and in all the right ways, and it makes us think that we followed along because they said it in such a nice way, but, but actually perhaps there is some confusion. So it's, it's really important to make sure that's not the case, that the content has been understood, and that these pre-class quizzes, which you get to try a couple times, so you don't get them the first time, that's all right, they give you an opportunity to get some feedback. And secondly, we, we know for that it's important to, to repeat ideas multiple times where we're able to not just be shown something and not just be able to follow something, but to be able to do it ourselves. And the pre-class quizzes, they're our first opportunity, first of many, first opportunity to go through that really important process where now we're not just watching me perform, you are the ones that are going to be doing some performing of mathematics, some doing of mathematics. And finally, some amount of marks are associated to these pre-class quizzes, partly as an incentive to make sure that you actually are reliably doing this work. Uh, it's well known, for instance, from cognitive psychology that if you want to learn something well and deeply and have long-term retrieval of it, that doing stuff spaced out of time, that spreading your learning spaced out of time, is more effective than clumping it all together. For example, a mass cramming for a, a particular test where you do a whole bunch of work all at once, we know that spreading the learning out over time. So there's an incentive structure here to make sure that you are spreading your knowledge out of time. And in a sense, if you, for instance, didn't do the videos and didn't do the pre-class quizzes, it's not just that you're giving up a little bit of marks. There's not a lot of marks associated to it, just a little bit of marks. 
The more important point is that you don't have the foundational knowledge needed to be able to do well and to learn a lot from the subsequent class. Finally, one point I want to make is that it is very important to do recollection exercises. So, for instance, let's suppose that you've, you've watched the videos one day and then the next day it's before class and you, you want to sort of brush up and make sure that you have all of that information from the videos prior to entering the class. And it turns out that we know that there's a really big difference between recognition and recollection. For instance, if you just read over your notes, you might recognize them. You're like, oh, I remember seeing that, I remember seeing this, and I remember seeing this other thing. But that skill is a lower order skill than the skill of recollection, where you don't look at your notes, or you, you only look at your notes sort of briefly just to get the large scale scaffolding, and that you need to recollect the various information that you've learned out of your mind. And you might not always be able to do that the first time. I'm certainly not able to, do, to, to recollect immediately after seeing something only one time. But that process of having multiple recollection opportunities within your studying, and this applies not just for this flip class, it applies quite generally, that, that focusing on having many different recollection steps is going to be very important for your long-term retention. So I would encourage you to not just sort of consume the videos and then recognize the content that's being said, but to actively try to think about it and to recollect the main arguments of the videos prior to coming to class.